Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, WWE SummerSlam will be taking place on August 23rd next month. WWE officially announced today that SummerSlam will no longer be happening in Boston. We spoke on this a few weeks back, how WWE planned to run the event at the Performance Center in Orlando, Florida. Well, Mike Johnson over at PW Insider does have an update as of today. WWE is still considering other options. So the Performance Center, I guess, is not 100% locked. They are looking at other venues, including an outdoor venue to host SummerSlam. Clearly nothing has been finalized, but at this point in time, WWE did state that they do have an announcement forthcoming on the location of SummerSlam since it won't happen in Boston and fans who did purchase tickets are able to get refunds at the point of purchase and a lot of fans going into this thought that WWE would not be running in Boston especially since the mayor basically banned any large-scale events until after September. Next we're going to talk about another positive COVID-19 test in WWE. Uh, WWE Content Innovation Lab employee Cornell Gunter has announced he has tested positive for the virus. For those who are wondering what the Content Innovation Lab is, it is basically um, a section in the WWE based out of the PC, which is led by Jeremy Borash. They do a lot of social media work, filming, uh, producing, a lot of different things using different types of technology, video, audio, all that type of stuff. They were also instrumental working on the Boneyard match at WrestleMania, as well as the Backlot Brawl on NXT between Johnny Gargano and Velveteen Dream. So Cornell Gunter of the Innovation Lab did announce he has tested positive. He did state, Prince and I have tested positive for COVID. It's been an absolute worst for me. I've never felt this bad physically before. I would never wish these last 10 days on anyone. Thankfully, I'm a lot better now. Thankfully, Prince hasn't showed any symptoms. He's a G and I'm not sure who Prince is, uh, but he did state that he has tested positive for COVID-19. This news does come weeks after that big outbreak in WWE. Stephanie McMahon recently spoke with Ad Age, stating that WWE has a lot of measures in place and talent and crew members, they don't have to work if they don't want to. It's all volunteer based. And every night before and after tapings, uh, they do all types of safety measures with the PC. They do something called fogging. They have a special lighting uh, that they use and they also have this uh, product from Allied Sciences that creates a barrier. Uh, and also if you're negative for the virus, you still need to do a temperature tech check, fill out forms, things like that. If any other positive cases are announced, we'll certainly keep you posted. As always, your thoughts, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to DDT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And have a great day.